promising. Once upon a time, a king asked for a roasted goose for dinner, but the farmer saves the goose from death and runs away from the castle. Save the goose from the night king's night and collect all the eggs on the, all the levels. This sounds like a nice change of pace. Yeah. <laughs> Am I going to be playing, or are you going to be hopping in and... Let me play. That sounds like a dandy fine idea. Well... The golden goose is on the loose and never out of season. Here you go. Iron Maiden. Once upon a time, a king... Oh, so by the way, my name is Taro Mia. Uh, I'm from Omiya Games. I'm Anthony. And we're playing the Goose Saga. Anthony is playing, I'm commentating. So, once upon a time, a king asked for a roasted goose for dinner, but a farmer saves a goose from death and what, uh, runs away from the castle. Darn you, cursive. Which is control. Cool. Ah, oh, tutorial. Ah. And he's got the goose on his head. Yeah. Control, man. Ah, oh, the goose is the left hand. Ah. One hit KO. An unconventional hero, too. He's hurting the very goose he saved. Yeah. Oops. Still, this is a. This clearly is a lot better than what I was experiencing with, you know. Oops. Oh, oh wow. Looks that like was. There is a ground. Yeah, that is nasty. No. No, I think you want to like drop down on the bottom there because it looks like you're supposed to collect all the goose eggs. Oh my! Oh, it's wait. The bottom is surrounded bunch by of thorns. Yeah. Oh, okay. I do like this silhouette graphics. Um, yeah. Ugh. It looks like the controls are kind of loose. There's like a there's a real back in the attack which I'm not a fan of. I want the attack to be as immediate as possible. Lucy Goosey. Oh, you went there. Oops. I'm not a fan of the one hit KO either. That's all right. Yeah, but because it's ambiguous how large the level is, it kind of leaves me a lot to be desired. This is the second level, by the way. I mean, Super Meat Boy made sure that all, the entire level fit in one screen. Or at least two, one and a half scre uh, two screens or something. But it never gave you the impression that the level was going to be long. In this case, I have no idea how long the level is. It's four eggs long. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> but how long uh, is an egg? Alright. One. <laughs> I see. Two. Oh, that's that's two eggs long. <laughs> well, that's excellent. Oh, 
Oh. Why'd you do that, Ant? <laughs> you gotta be patient, man. <laughs> I only like stealth games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done. You're starting to think like me. Uh-oh. This looks rough. <laughs> well, we know how much this game is scoring on humor. Looks like your hitbox is large enough. Bingo. Man, what climate does this guy live in? The rolling hills. I don't understand this at all. Maybe you're just supposed to jump over him? Because it looks like you can't. Oh, maybe. See, I think that's unfair. Um, that makes more sense, having a cactus on top of a platform. Oh ho ho ho! Oh ho ho ho! Uh, yeah. Oh man, you got him by the hat. I don't know why, but the fact that the farmer is like so depressed, that really hunchback pose, is kind of funny. You laugh at his misfortune? <laughs> if he deserves it, yes, although in this case I don't think he does. No. He is a thief. No, they never explained that he was a thief. He stole the goose from the king. No, it that's was treason. His goose. That's treason. It was his own goose. No. The king has ordered the entire kingdom to bring back what he thinks is his goose. And the king's words are oh. Well done. The king's words are final. I assume. Fortunately, our president's words are not final. <laughs> it's judicial, actually. The good judges, if memory serves correct. <clears throat> so I really need the eggs. Yeah, let's see what happens if we don't get them. I die. Foul. Foul. Now that that's the foul. When I die. Should we not bother? With what? With that first egg. I don't know. I'm worried that if I don't get the egg... Well, we haven't even tested the whole egg situation. <sighs> How does the attack feel to you? Uh, because I get the sense that it leaves a little to be desired. Kind of like uh, a whip, like a vampire killer. Yeah. Well done. Last one's always easy to get. I guess you don't need the darn eggs. Yep. Okay, I don't like those blind jumps. 
Was it blind? I guess you can blind. So you can see. You can kind of see it. But once you're up there, you know. That's a blind jump. Yeah. I'm personally always err on the side of uh, make it comprehensible to the player so that the game feels like it's fair. I guess you could argue that the thorns are guiding you down that funnel. Right. The f thing I have going for me is I'm stubborn. Ah! Oh, you killed two birds with one stone. <laughs> or two soldiers with one bird. Oh. Yeah, it looks like you're gonna have to take that. The slippery controls are not helping here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Fly, goose, fly! Cool. Why didn't he do that sooner? What? Let the goose fly? Yeah. That's a good question. <laughs> That's foul! <laughs> <laughs> well, scroll down and let's read it. It was fun. Oh, that's good. It felt like, um, in regards to the fun, I wanted to comment that it felt like the controls seemed a little loose. You were slipping and sliding in a few places. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really fond of that. I, I kind of wish a tighter control scheme was in place. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Do you think a goose was an unconventional weapon? Well, let's start naming games that uses goose as an unconventional weapon. Um. Or bird. World of Warcraft. With chickens? Uh, the hunters use birds as, uh. Ra like rangers and dungeons and dragons. They could probably, uh. I was gonna name Banjo Kazooie. They could probably befriend animal with a goose and have it and train it to attack. Yeah, in Banjo Tooie, you club, uh, you club enemies using Tooie or Kazooie. Kazooie. <laughs> Kazoo. Banjo and Kazoo. Theme. What do you think? <laughs> I want to give it some credit. The four? Sure. Because graphics. Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> or Banjo Graphics Kazooie. are nice. Um, the silhouettes are really nice. Yeah, I kind of want the animation to be a little smoother, but I'm being picky. So what, how many stars is that? I'll let you decide. Mm. I'll go with four. Sounds good to me. Humor. That's like all the humor kind of comes from the smacking people, swinging a fall. goose by the neck. That's I'll give that an average rating because I I don't know how I feel. About it seemed that. like the goose enjoyed it. 
Well, I don't <laughs> know. The mood. Well, what do you think about mood? I consider mood to be atmosphere, much like uh, Jamie points out. And when I talk about atmosphere, I'm talking about how consistent is it in presenting what it does, and does that mesh well with the game mechanic that I'm experiencing? In this case, it seemed mostly about uh, trying to, uh, talking about a kind of a r bizarre, ridiculous scenario of a farmer who is, you know, trying to escape from the king's grasp by uh, bludgeoning all the soldiers, which looks all like children for some reason, uh, mm -hmm. bludgeoning the, the soldiers uh, with the goose. Maybe that's why the farmer was fed up with the king. <laughs> because all the soldiers were children? Yeah. Anyways, um, ultimately I felt like um, it kind of falls a little short on the mood end of things. Um, a lot of the silliness is kind of bogged down by everything being a silhouette, so the details are hard to tell. Um, and for the most part, the kicker for me was largely the lack of tight controls that kind of got me mm. and really broke the immersion factor of the whole, you know, the whole bizarre scenario for this. So to me, you know, if, if it's not fun, then it's not going to help. Or if, if it doesn't make you in a specific mood that you think the game intended you to feel like, it seems like for a lot of places you seemed a bit frustrated uh, with, you know, blind jumps and mm -hmm. really bad, really bad enemy placement. I feel like those are detractors to the mood, and which will be why I would not quite score it as high. Uh, overall, I give it three stars overall. That sounds good. Yeah, it it's a classic platformer. Yeah. Uh, most of the problems that I see in the game are very classic beginner platforming prop, uh, issues. The slippery controls. You no know, ghost jumping. By ghost jumping, I'm talking about the small buffer that you're given when you're uh, when you run off the edge. You're given a lot of games. You're given a tiny buffer to still jump. Um, the attacks is a little weird. There's a there's a wind back to it, and the attacks do not feel instantaneous, and so forth. There mm -hmm. just seems to be a lot of very beginnerish flaws. Well, I'ma head out, you guys. See ya, goodbye. Okay. You want to write the comment? Yeah. Stop it now for a moment. Sounds like a good idea. I think this is a solid, this is a good effort in making a platformer. Game functions just fine. And the levels are certainly beatable. Personally, I think the game could use some polish from other platformers. The controls feels a little loose. And the attack does not feel reactive. few locations we had to rely on a blind jump. I think these small issues adds up to a somewhat 
frustrating experience where some that we feel like weren't within our control. Still, nice job, and I certainly wouldn't call it a foul. Alright, so it's 11.30 right now, um, assuming that these games are taken.